Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you how to graph a line using slope intercept form. So, what is slope intercept form? It is four letters uh, it's Y and then an equal sign with an M, X, plus B. So, this is slope intercept form. So, let's go over what each of these variables represents. Uh, so, we'll start with the M. M Okay, represents the slope. So in this uh, name, it represents slope. So let's put a little arrow and let's put slope over here. It could also be referred to uh, the rate of change. So how the line changes. Or one more, if, it, if your teacher already taught you slope, it is the rise over the run. So uh, how it changes, how it rises while it's running. Uh, the B, okay, as you guessed it, if M represents the slope, the B represents the intercept. But which intercept? It is the Y intercept. Okay, uh, you can also call it the starting Point, or some people like to call it the initial point. So let's just write it in there for some people that like calling it the initial point. Okay, so uh, there's y intercept, starting point, initial point. Okay, we have two other variables. The x is the x coordinate. Okay, so that one's pretty easy. So coordinates, it's easy if you know how to spell coordinates. And the y, okay, it's not the y-intercept. The y is the y coordinate. Okay, so let's take our highlighter and um, press pause after you highlight it and then quiz yourself, okay? So ask yourself, what does M stand for? What does B stand for? What does X stand for? And what does Y stand for? And after you've, you've got that in your head forever and ever and ever, because this formula will stick with you forever, ever and ever, then unpause it and uh, we'll go over a couple examples. Pause, unpause. Okay, so here's the first example. Uh, y equals 3x minus 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write right over it what uh, slope-intercept form is just so that we can remember it. So y equals mx plus b. So if you notice that the y is still a y, uh, the, the X is still X, but the M is a 3, and the B is a negative 1. I'm going to put a little plus over here, plus negative 1. So typically, when we see these, uh, this will still be Y, this will still be X, and the M and B will be numbers. So we have to uh, recognize or identify um, what our slope is and what our starting point is. So I'm going to write slope. And if you guys remember what which of these variables is slope, it's the M. And I'm not just going to write 3, but I'm going to write it as a fraction, as 3 over 1. Okay, because if you remember, M also rep represents rise over run. So we want to get a rise over the invisible run. So remember, the invisible number under any number is 1. Okay, and let's get our y-intercept, so where the line intercepts the y-axis, and it is uh, plus negative 1. Okay, so I'm going to write it as a, a, a pair of uh, coordinates, so I'm going to write 0, negative 1. Okay, that negative 1 goes in the y-coordinates, uh, okay, and then this will always be 0, okay? The, the, the x-coordinate for the for our y-intercept is always zero. I'll show you why. Okay, so let's graph this. So we're going to take our y-intercept or our starting point or our initial point. Okay, our y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? And we wanna start from the origin, which is zero, zero, 
and we want to go down to zero negative one so this so our y intercept is always going to be zero because the the x value is always going to be zero because we're not going to move left and right okay we're only moving up and down depending on what this value is so we're going to start at the origin go down to negative one zero negative one so this is our starting point right here so i'll just put a point right there and we're going to go to our slope and so a way to remember this is that this is positive, okay, this number is positive, we're going uphill like that, okay? If this number was negative, then our line would go downhill. But since it's positive, just remember it's going uphill and the rise overrun. So we're going to look at the rise. We're going to rise three, one, two, three, and we're going to run one. We're going to move to the right, okay, so this way again, one, two, three over one okay and if you want to go back to the starting point and go backwards okay instead of going rise up and then to the right we'll go down three one two three and then we'll go left one okay and then if we connected all these points right here if you guys could see that okay so we start again at zero negative one up three over one up three run one Okay, and then we'll just connect all these dots and we have our line. Okay, starting point at zero, negative one, and our slope up three over one, up three over one. And we have a straight line. Okay, uh, let's show you another example. All right, so we got y equals negative three-fifths x minus two, just to remind us y equals mx plus b right there. If you wanna write it under there, you could do that too. Okay, and let's identify our slope. So our slope, it's already as a fraction, so negative three over five, and our y-intercept, we're gonna write it as a coordinate pair, uh, as zero, okay, and we're gonna put plus right there, plus negative two, so zero comma negative two, so this will be our starting point. So we need we have these two values, and that's enough for us to graph. So let's go. So we're gonna start off at the origin, and then we're going to go to zero negative two. So we're gonna go down to negative two this way. So here is where our uh, let's use a highlighter so we can see that a little better. Okay, so this is our starting point. Okay, zero, negative two, where the line intercepts the y-axis. And then we're going to now look at our slope. And you see it's a negative. That means that our line isn't going to go uphill like in the previous one. It's going to go downhill somewhere this way. Okay, so some, so we're going to go down three. So from here, one two, three. So that would be one, two, three. And then we're going to run to the five. So to the right five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So all we really need is two points. In the previous example, I showed you a couple different points. So we could do that. So we could go backwards. Okay. So from here, okay. Um, instead of going down three and to the right five, you could go up three, one, two, three, but don't go to the right. We're going to go opposite, left five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, and then if we connect all three points, we should have a straight line. So there you go. Okay. So there is the line for y equals negative 3x minus 2. All right. We have two more examples. Okay, so this one, uh oh, this one looks uh, a little shorter than the previous uh, examples because it looks like it's missing some values. Uh, so y equals m x plus b. Um, so we have our m here. We don't have a b, but what's an in what's a number that represents nothing? Uh, well, it's zero. So we can write plus zero right here so our slope 
which is represented by m, is negative 1 over 3. So negative 1 over 3. And this tells us our line is going to go downhill. Okay, and then our starting point or our y-intercept where the line intercepts the y-axis is we're going remember we're going to write it as a coordinate pair as zero because this x value is always zero, comma zero. Okay. Alright, so and if you guys remember, zero zero is the origin, so where the x and y axis intersect each other. Uh, so Let's take our highlighter so we could, it's a little more visible. And we'll st our starting point is at zero, zero. So let's just put a point at zero, zero. And our slope is negative one over three. So it's actually, instead of rising, it's gonna go down one. So we're going to go down one, okay? Some people do this, they count one, and then they don't go anywhere. They'll go one and two and three, no, it's, we move one, okay, so from here we move one, okay, one unit down, and then we're still going to move to the right. So one, two, three. So if you, you, you imagine our line's already going downhill. Now if we want to get another point starting from here, instead of going down one, we'll go up one, but we'll go to the left three. So one, two, three. So again, up one, over three. And... Imagine the line is going downhill because our slope is negative. Okay, and we could do more points if we wanted to, but yeah, it's okay. And then we'll just connect the dots there. If you want to draw some arrows, you can draw some arrows too. Okay, and the last example for this one is y equals x. So, the so first thing we're gonna do, we're going to write y equals m x plus b and we're, we're going to identify our slope and our y intercept okay so our slope so we have the y here we have the x here we can't see the the m but don't say m is is zero because it's what times this okay what's the invisible number uh that will keep this x yeah it's one one times x is still x. So we could write that one there and this one, okay? And for nothing is zero, okay? So our slope is actually not zero, but it's one. One times x keeps it x. So let's make that as a fraction, one over one, like that. And our b, our starting point, our y-intercept is zero comma zero all right so now let's start let's put this let's graph this our starting point is at zero zero or at the origin let's take our highlighter at the origin zero zero and our slope is positive so that means it's going to go uphill some way like this okay so we're going to go up one from the origin and then to the right one Rise one over one, rise one over one. If you want to go backwards, instead of going up and to the right, we'll go down and to the left. We have more than enough points. And we'll just connect the dots just like that. And there is our graph for y equals x. All right, so that is how you graph a line using slope-intercept form. Hope it helps. Thanks.